In this video, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to take information that was typed into unbound text boxes and add it to an existing data set. Now, these text boxes are not bound to the data set. They're simply text boxes that the users fill in to type in data or to input data, and you would add this to an existing data set uh, two ways. One way is with a query, and a second way is through code. In this particular video, I'll cover how to do this with a query, and I'll cover how to add uh, records to a data set through code in another video. So let's go ahead and get started by designing the form and seeing what we have here. We have a series of text boxes, and as you can see, they're all unbound, and each text box has a name. If you go to Properties, uh, go to the All tab, you can name your text boxes, and this is very important because this is how you'll reference them in your query. Uh, QL name is what I've named uh, the last name text box. The first name text box here, I've named it QF name, address, Q address, cities, Q city, state so on and so forth. So now that my text boxes are named, I can go ahead and create a query. I'll hit Queries New, Design View, and I'm going to go ahead and close this out because I'm not bringing in any tables. I'm going to uh, start from scratch. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to start literally just typing in the columns that I'm going to be uh, appending to my existing table. Uh, first one is last name. Now, usually this is where you would bring in information from another table to use. Uh, I'm actually going to type in my own information or I'm going to reference the form to get information from the form. Now, notice that I have typed in a string called last name and then a colon. What I've basically done here is created a column. And now I can go ahead and reference the form by typing in forms, main form, Q L name. Okay, so now this column is going to consist of forms main form Q L name. Now, what am I going to do with this? I'm not going to run any kind of select query on this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and go to query type and select append query. You can also go up here to query append query. So basically, I'm going to hit an append query and I'm going to append it to the, the table that I need to uh, for it to go to. So W9 feed, OK. And then come down here to the append to line that was just added and select what column I want this last name column to go to. I want it to go to L name. That's perfect. So now I do the same thing for first name. And I can actually copy this, just change the name. First name. So forms main form Q F name. That's the text box that holds the first name. And then again, I'll come down here, do the drop down, and go to F name. One last one here. We'll do address here. Address. Forms main form Q address. And then F name, we're going to change that to address. All right, perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of this. All right, so I'm all done here. And again, I've done nothing more than create columns by typing in a string and a colon after the string. And then after that, placing a reference to each text box on the form. And then I've made this an append query, made, uh, appointed it to the table I needed to go to, and then made sure that each column is going to the column it needs to feed into. So once this is done, I'm going to go ahead and save it and I'll save it as my query okay and now I'll go back to the form design the form I have an add record button here and I'll click on properties event on click code builder and I'll be doing nothing more here than calling my query so I'll hit do command open query my query AC normal that's it. I'm opening my query normally. And then if I close this out, now I can type in my last name, first name, Mike, uh, some address, some city, Texas, and then some zip code, and then hit add record. It gives me a, a little warning message here. You're about to append query. You're about to append one rows and I've appended the row and if I go to main uh, if I go to the database and look at the table here as you can see I've just added 
to the table. Now there's a couple things you can do to enhance this experience for the user. Uh, first of all, you can set defaults for your um, for your text boxes. For example, if you're in a certain state and you're always going to be in that state, default value, uh, you can put a default value here and certain city, same thing, um, default value here. That way they don't have to type in that particular um, item. So every time they open up the, um, the form, it's already filled out for them. Uh, another thing you can do is you can actually remove these uh, warning messages by going to back to the code and putting in front of the uh, open query command, do command, uh, you can say do command uh, set warnings false. That way you don't get those annoying, hey, you're about to append one row messages. And of course, if you uh, set something to false after you're done, you should probably always set it to true. Okay, so do command set warnings false, open the query, and then set the warnings back to true. All right. Let's go ahead and test this now. Open up the main form. Last name, uh, Jones. First name, Mrs. Address, me, and. And then uh, city and state is already filled out for us very graciously. And then add some sort of zip code here. Uh, we'll do an add record. Notice no message boxes. It just went ahead and did it. We can double check that by opening the form, and again, you'll see Jones, Mrs. Me, and Plano, and all the good, this good stuff. Now, if you want to uh, put in some rules around, hey, I don't need any duplicates, and I don't want uh, certain uh, values going into my table, all this should probably be done at the table level. Uh, you know, set a primary key here or uh, with a unique value. That way, you avoid duplicates, and you don't have to put any of those error checking in your form. Because the beauty about this form is that it's nothing more than a shell that captures the inputs. Uh, from the user and then passes those to a query. So this form is very empty and it's uh, got nothing more than just one qu call to a query.